Welcome to this radio channel and today I'm going to talk about notch filtering. What it is, when do you use a notch filter? It's a question I've seen on many forums. People say, uh, look I got something called notch filter. What does it do? Basically a notch filter. So here I'm going to show you an example of a radio that I used to own that has a notch filter. The Kenwood R5000. Here it says notch even if you don't see it very well. This outer ring here is the notch filter adjustments. Uh, in SDR receivers, there's automatic notch. You can also check the manual notch. So basically, what is a notch filter? A notch filter is a very narrow filter that is actually there to remove heterodynes or tones that show up when you're listening to shortwave. Now, I've intentionally created a tone by putting my radio in upper sideband here on the uh, the soft 66 and tuning away a little bit from the frequency the main frequency of Oman on 15140 I put my receiver in upper sideband on 15139 uh, it's purely for the uh, purpose of showing an example of how it works so basically when you're listening to signals, sometimes very close signals will create a tone or a pterodyne, or you might be listening to some sideband signals and uh, amateur bands or utility bands and suddenly a tone shows up from some unknown transmission. Well, the notch filter is there to remove the tone. And that's the interesting part here. So what it does basically is notch or remove that specific frequency. So on some receivers it's manual. You have to turn slowly the notch adjustment so that the audio frequency of the notch filter where it needs to actually block the frequency will be the same as the tone that you're listening to. So here I have a visual of the tone because I've actually intentionally created one so you see it here in the display visually. This is what a tone looks like on an SDR. So you're listening, but there's this annoying tone here. Uh, here in HD SDR, for example, you've got a great feature, which is the auto notch. A notch is for automatic notch filter. When you click on it, re look at how it just removed this tone. It actually created a filter here where it removes the tone that it detected automatically. So some receivers have um, automatic notch. Another thing that um, I can talk about notch automatic notch uh, is the um, Radio Shack DSP filter that I have. A lot of you have seen this filter. If you look at this filter uh, basically, let's make it bigger. Well, this one is full of dust, but uh, one of the things that you have here is an automatic notch. And in the automatic notch is when you actually activate the DSP here, a digital signal processor. And this one is an audio notch, so this one blocks the sound from the audio, but it does the same job. And that's why I love, by the way, my little DSP 40. For notch, it's amazing how it works well. So basically it's there to remove one tone or multiple tones. Uh, in the case of multiple tones you might of course a manual adjustment will not work for multiple tones that it has to remove but it will work for one tone specific tone. So if you have more than one tone in the transmission you might have to choose which one is the most annoying if you have an automatic, uh, not an automatic, but a manual adjust adjustment. In the case of multiple tones here in the transmission, what's cool with um, an, an SDR and uh, also uh, some DSP receivers is that they have the possibility to remove multiple tones. Here in HDSDR you also have the notch which is manual. You just click it and what you do is you go into the graphic and simply click where you want to remove the tone. So if there were multiple tones, you could actually create multiple notches in the display to remove multiple tones on your receiver. So notch filtering is a very narrow filter and it's there to remove the tones that could be annoying for your shortwave reception. 
um, either in the amateur bands or international broadcast bands. Uh, of course, the tones need to be in the range of your notch filter. Uh, some notch filters, well, most notch, notch filters on analog receivers have a range that is specific. So if the tone is too high or too low, you won't be able to remove it. Uh, so that could be a problem on um, analog receivers. But on usually uh, DSP receivers or like this one here with HDSDR, which is a software defined radio, um, frequency of the tone is not a problem as you can reach pretty much every frequency with a notch filter. So it's one of the features that's there to kind of help you remove unwanted tones from the receiving signal by creating a little filter, a very narrow filter, removing specific frequencies basically. So hope that you understand a little more what a notch filter is and how to use it, basically. Um, and uh, of course, a lot of receivers don't have notch filters. Portable receivers usually do not have notch filters. Uh, you can also use uh, recording software. So for example, I was talking about how you can uh, record audio from a shortwave radio with Audacity. Well, in Audacity, you would be able to create a um, a, a similar effect of a notch filter by simply removing specific frequencies from the audio by using the tools and the Audacity software when you're recording. So basically you record you know, the transmissions that you want and after it's recorded you can remove the tones from uh, creating basically kind of a notch filter but in the uh, audio that you see on Audacity's display. If you enjoy my radio videos, please subscribe, please give us thumbs up. I hope you enjoy my videos and thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please ask away. It will be my pleasure to uh, maybe even make a video to talk about a specific radio subject that you'd like to know more about.